we already started uh, some mining activities in you know, 2015 and you know, built out more hosting. Uh, we, we did some mining for ourselves and as, at the company level and also mining for uh, investors, so third parties, individuals, funds. But not all the customers are public because it's up to them if they want to disclose they're using our service. But Fidelity Digital Asset has their miners with us and Galaxy and some other funds that haven't uh, announced that. You know, we do mining in different locations, including in, uh, in Quebec province of Canada, which is uh, mostly hydro, has a great deal of excess power. But different parts of the world have less uh, zero emission power. And our thesis is that actually, contrary to expectation, um, Bitcoin mining is great for uh, monetizing and making profitable the ability to expand power infrastructure. So while policymakers are keen to see more uh, zero emission power infrastructure, on the ground, things get built by people finding business models that work that enable the project financing of them. Renewables don't have... Uh, you know, the costs of extraction, refinery, and transport, right? So they tend to be cheaper, less, you know, there's no ongoing fuel cost. The maintenance cost, once you build the project, is very low. Uh, so mining seeks out low cost power. It can be at any location, so it can be stranded remote locations. And I think the key differentiator for mining as compared to a conventional new zero emissions power plant is that Bitcoin can provide 100% duty cycle. That is to say, it can pay for and use any unused power. Whereas if somebody's to start a project, for us, a new town or a town with an industrial park or some industry expected, you know, initially it would be very low duty cycle. Power plants are typically overbuilt by a factor of two or three, so most of the power goes unused. And so being able to pay for and use all of the excess power greatly improves the return on investment and you know, the time period in which the project will make money. That therefore helps people to fund and construct more power infrastructure and improve you know, the amount of uh, zero emission power in the world. Kind of fully open source the business model. So actually at Blockstream, we'd had the, you know, been analyzing mining and economics for it for, for quite a while. And so we've reached this thesis that mining can cross subsidize or improve the profitability of uh, zero emissions grid infrastructure. And so we saw a, an analysis report by ARC uh, co-authored with Square which reached the same thesis. So we uh, contacted them and got to talking. So we uh, decided between us to actually build, you know, a, a small sized farm um, and demonstrate it with, you know, open source dashboard, real time data and the financials getting into it. With the acquisition of uh, Spondulis, we are building you know, a new mining uh, line of products. You know, one differentiator for that product is to have a more international supply chain and manufacturing. So a lot of the mining products, you know, the boards and the assembly is done in China, just uh, historically. And so, you know, we'd like, you know, our, part of our plan is to decentralize that a bit and do it in some other countries.